Okay, this is the second video I'm doing today on this one particular channel and in this one I've just completed setting up the alcohol for fermentation. Uh, so, this is the first time I've used a nutrient um, that I've added to the must itself, which means that I should be able to get a greater volume of alcohol coming out of it. I'm again trying to head for the goal of three liters of alcohol, taking into account the um, cash expenditure on the yeast, sugar, nutrients, and the rest of it. Sugar was nice and cheap today at only 82 pence per kilogram, and I used six kilograms. Okay, do the maths. So now I'm hoping that I've done the uh, preparing the fermentation okay without there being any uh, interference from bacteria, because if there is some kind of uncleanliness within the actual mixture itself, then that might lead to a stopped fermentation, which would reduce the quantity of alcohol I can get out. Uh, prior to, of course, getting that wonderful beast um, going and generating the pure bioethanol liquid, which I need to burn in my homemade bioethanol fireplace, as well as do it using it for cooking. Uh, so whether I can get the gravity, specific gravity, down to 990, I think, which is what's required, that remains to be seen. Remember, I was unsuccessful in getting it quite that low with the last batch I did, but with, with the last batch I did on this channel, okay? But this time around, I might be able to make it. It's only been a few minutes, the lid is already starting to puff up nicely, which shows that there is some carbon dioxide being produced already, and so that's obviously a good starting sign. So we'll just have to see how it goes, and whether this time next week I've actually got the right quality of specific gravity. Specific gravity is of course measured on a hydrometer. Uh, and at this stage you use one of these which is a wine and beer hydrometer and I have the hydrometer for spirits uh, on my bookshelf which will come to fruition at the right time. It's just drying there after I've just cleaned it after using it. Uh, and yeah that's right this is my laboratory this is how cool it looks. All right <laughs> all right but there we go in preparation to have combustible fuel coming soon. Fingers crossed. And a bit of free advertising for 99p stores. 